Hello there and welcome back to Strategic Command World War 2 World at War as we continue our fight to the last bullet against the Axis aggression and as you can see it's October 1940 and we're still defending France but it's not going to take we're not going to do that far much longer I believe it's, we have defended France for 6 turns so far as, they've, as the Germany attacked low countries in April. We've also, advanced, we've also made some advances in Africa as the Benghazi fell last turn. And we are moving on in Abyssinia as well. And the Chinese front looks good as we haven't lost any national moral objective cities and we have reconquered some of those in the south like Canton and Amoy so that's nice but let's go ahead and let's see what happens to us next turn So we received tanks in Egypt, but still no diplomatic hits in Finland, which is horrible. At this rate, Finland will join in 1945. And let's see what will happen to France this time. Yeah, they reinforced the HQ there. Well, are they retreating? Really? He'll be gone next time. There is no doubt about the fate of this garrison in Al El Aguila. And once more carriers begin an offensive of Japanese units. But no hits this time, thankfully. And I hope I'll be able to destroy Bismarck this turn. The next turn, of course. Well, the storms are probably going to save our f destroyer. Mm, no effect. Interesting. This is the fourth German bomber. Only four attacks? All right. I will not complain about that one. Well, well, well. Well, he's gone. Just like that. I don't believe we'll see 
parries in our hands at the end of this turn. Well, who knows, with those kinds of attacks it may be possible. HQ is gone, but it took some of the attention away from Paris, so that's nice. That's nice. Fight, fight, keep fighting, guys. One more turn is always good. Well, he's not even upgraded fully, so it was kind of weird that they made a break. Well, I was probably probably too hopeful about our chances this turn. Yeah, he's gone. Paris is gone, my friends. Italians captured it. Well, well, well. That's that's something. Well, if that will happen, I guess it will be Italy that will receive the plunder from. Mm, the France which will hurt Germany really bad as you can see the Italian flag is waving above Paris The Japanese are not making any major offensives against us, so it's good. I'll upgrade this army next to Pautau. And let's see if our garrison will survive in Marcel. Well, it won't, probably. It's gone as well. Well, but France was gone anyway. Well, really? Well, you are late to this party, my friend. I guess it w that will be it for this turn. Well, you are going to escape, of course. I guess it have moved back to the no one of the Norwegian ports.
So the French had surrendered to the Italians. That's first for me. I've I've uh, read about it on forums, but it's never happened to me before. So that's something unusual. But let's look at the decision that we have to make. Office of the British Foreign Secretary, Lord Halifax. Although the new French government had signed an armistice, armistice with the enemy and withdrawn from the war, not all French soldiers have given up the fight. A small number led by General de Gaulle intend to continue the struggle from, the, from exile, exile as the fre free French. Should we support de Gaulle? Of course we are going to do that, as it's cheap. British War Office David Margeson. Following the fall of France, thousands of Polish soldiers who had sought refugee there, is, there in the hope of forming a Polish army in exile have been arriving in the UK. As we've received this event, this decision earlier on, on, as France and I said no to, to this as France, uh, as I wanted to have this corp for UK, so I'm going to say yes. And we've got a bunch of fresh units to put on the front lines. So let's do it. You're going to go here in Seattle. I'll have you. Well, in Sacramento, a Chinese Corp and an HQ that we bought. So you are going to Africa and let's see, let's look at China as we usually start with. Yeah, we're going to swap you and we may reinforce you later on. You know what, let's go and see what this HQ has to say about our involvement near it. We're going to upgrade you. I would love to buy a garrison unit to make sure that they do not find a cheeky way to reach Canton and I don't don't want to move the garrison coming I never saw Japanese attack through the railway railway between Kanming and Hanoi but who knows what will happen as you can see the Italian flag in Paris So let's upgrade you, my friend, and let's upgrade you as you are no, as no Japanese are adjacent to you. I would love to do that and force them to lose some of this uh, experience as they will need to reinforce. Well, that didn't exactly go the way I wanted, but whatever. Let's upgrade you as well. well unit reinforcements as fast as possible. We're going closer. We're going to upgrade you. We're going to reinforce you. We're going to reinforce you. We are going to swap you and reinforce this army here you go 
and we do not have any money left so I'm going to move you away yeah that's not worth it and we are going to put you here oh and we can see where do they did they amass their troops so that's it for China well let's reinforce you with one point as we can do it let's look at the Japanese losses so far MPP well there were some good turns around as remember they only get MPPs for their turns so they've lost pretty much the same amount that they have uh, col they've collected so that's something notion the national morale is dropping a bit and our national national morale has dropped a bit as well but it's stable and let's look at the research nothing and let's look at diplomacy and at and German and Italian diplomacy nothing so they did not invest anything into Spain all right let's look at the Soviet Union know what I'm not going to put you here straight by but I'm going to use you as potential reinforcements near the front line and when the Dnipro Petrovs will be in the interior I'll just move one of the corps, corp units next to the Sevastopol to make sure that it's not it will not be surrounded that easily yeah we are not going to do anything in here so far but we're going we're going to invest some money into advanced tanks and later on into anti-aircraft defense so let's go to USA as they are not in war yet and they won't be for another year or even more let's look at research first and let's put a second cheat into naval weaponry and another one into amphibious warfare We might have one, it may happen, I'm not sure. But we may reach another advancement next turn. But if not, we'll buy some carriers. Later on, as they took 18 turns to appear and... Well, that's a lot of time. But that's it for now and what's important as the French fall, fell the land lease began so what we're going to do is to increase the convoy value that goes to Great Britain which is nice And let's look at India now. We don't have anything to do in here. Our garrisons made it to Nauru, Nauru. So we are going to upgrade them possibly, but let's look at our research and I'm going to invest into logistics. And I'm going to upgrade you. As you have 5 supply, we can upgrade you, but we're going to swap you, and we can still upgrade you, and we'll be able to upgrade this unit next step. Let's take a look here, we are going to do it. He's cut off. Well, we might. Yeah, let's do it. 
Let's get rid of it. You're gone. And you might be gone, but... Well... We'll, de we'll deal with it later and we're going to bomb Addis Ababa. We're going to attack with you. And we'll move you. And we are going to move you as well. And we're going to move you back. And we're going to move with you. We could do that, but I'm going to upgrade him first. And we're going to reinforce you. We'll rush you back. Going to attack with you first with our tactical bomber. Well, he's gone. Let's attack with you. With you. And let's attack with you. And the garrison fell. Let's advance with you. We are not going to move our artillery much further, but we're going to rush you to a nearby port. Is it worth it to force march our tank to Tripoli? I'm not sure, really. As Tripoli will fall anyway, as we will surround it. So I'm going to do the, put you in Alexandria. Let's look at Italian national morale. Well, it's pretty low, 67%. And with possible fall of Tripoli and Addis Ababa as national as they are national moral objectives will bring it nearby near 50% I believe and it will become a danger zone. So what and with the fall of France to the Italians it means that Bringing down Italy might mean liberating um, France as well at the same term. So we might be looking into something in here. I would like to move to make a pincer movement and land in Genua and Bologna to cut the Italy at half and make sure to get to bring their morale down enough for them to surrender but that's a time we'll deal it only after the Italy has fallen the Italian holdings in Africa will fall so that's a long way from now and let's look at our research yeah, it will be a long while before we have Amphibious Warfare level 1. But let's take a look here. Let's search for Bismarck. Nothing, really. Oh, here you are. There is a bad weather everywhere. But I'm going to try anyway. Let's move you. I don't see any subs, so I'm going to move you. That wasn't great, but it was enough. You're too far, you're too far. You will not be too far. 
but I do not want him to be locked away. If I move him now, then I won't be able to move him back, and I don't want that to happen. I'm going to move you. And let's see. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Will we have enough? I'm not sure. Well, with that kind of attacks, when I had 1 to 1 chances and took a 0 2 loss, that's not going to happen. Okay, I'm really desperate. Yeah, that's not going to work. I'm going to move you in our desperation. You know what? Let's surround him. Well, at, least, at least let's try to do this. I'm going to reinforce you. As well as you. And you are going to resupply. We're going to move you closer. Let's set you to raiding mode. Let's reinforce you. Let's reinforce you by two points. As we can't reinforce you to full, we're going to move here. And you are going to move. We're going to move you. And you're going to move. To the port. All right. Do we have? Do we hold Saint Nazari? Yes, we do actually. So that's two and two point five MPP per turn. But they will probably move some unit to Nantes to reconquer it. And we are holding the Bordeaux port in Bordeaux. Which means that I will force some of their units to move next to it to delay their advances somewhere else. Probably in Yugoslavia in, and in Greece. And we have 187 MPPs which we'll use to do what? We need to uh, invest into into something more worthwhile, I believe. So we're going with. So I'm going to go with advanced fighters. And I'm going to transfer you both, my friends, later on. Free supply in Addis Ababa. Let's look at Italian losses for a second. Well, their income, of course, has increased as they took over France, so that's obvious. And we are going to move you. Oh, I've forgotten about you as well. well can we reach some of the ports? Yeah, we can reach this port. Hopefully their bombers will not stay at the shores and we are going to move you to 
Deal with German subs. Five MPPs and two and point five MPPs on our side. So I guess that will be it for this turn. As we continue our fight to the last bullet. And we're doing quite well, I would say, so far. So, as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope that you like it. And see you next time.